the absolute uh, cadence and uh, has changed dramatically in the past couple of years for me personally from going from this kind of very rigid anchored um, quarterly process to a much more fluid dynamic reactive process now which I think is much more beneficial for, for my stakeholders as well in the business. Chris and uh, Jonathan, you were both nodding furiously. It's almost like real time, always on forecasting. Is that is that the way it's going? Yeah, it's continuous forecasting. I mean, it, to me, and the biggest component of that, it has to be driver based. And so, to really understand your key drivers, so that you can be very specific and do rate versus volume type of analytics on what's happening, and understand what the impact is going to be on the P and L on a real time basis. But we are in a continuous forecasting model. Yeah, absolutely. We run basically live forecasting. So um, we've got sufficiently uh, strong sales uh, infrastructure that the forecasting there can feed uh, uh, and does feed um, um, a live dashboard, um, which is tremendous. Maybe it leads to people overanalyzing and watching it. I think the, uh, the more rigorous monthly and quarterly reviews still have a very important place, um, particularly as you look forward and take the, the bigger decisions about planning directions and investment commitments. But understanding how the business is doing in the very short term uh, is tremendously important. And modern systems, IT infrastructure um, enables you to do that. I would add with, um, you know, with, with the continuous forecasting is, is the, the need or the requirement of a gatekeeper, basically. Because um, you know, what, what, I, what I find sometimes is a, a little bit of alignment internally of, oh, what forecast are we comparing to now? What's this? What's that? Um, you know, kind of panic of, oh, well, I haven't seen these numbers. I think you need that, um, that kind of that rigor and that gatekeeper um, to make to make it effective. Which is why I like that sort of that periodic review. So we do at a certain level, we do it weekly with the leadership team, and then monthly, quarterly, um, building up to the big strategic planning and, and budgeting processes. And the other thing that maybe we're at risk of losing sometimes with automation is the degree of insight. And I think you know it's just what gets monitored gets managed it's also if you've got data being reported if you can have people analyzing it and scrutinizing it you then get more insight and you get the ability to drive behaviors now maybe the ai can start complementing that maybe even taking some of it over but at the end of the day i still think that that scrutiny that involves the human decision making on top of the basic data and analytics is incredibly important i wouldn't want to lose that as a result of driving greater efficiency in the automation it's, it's, it's the uh, scoreboard analogy isn't it it's you know if you kind of keep looking at the scoreboard too much you're not actually taking the the action to change it um i think you know i think i think with the the tools that we have now it's much more easy to to do that rhythm and that cadence of continuous forecasting i think maybe a number of years ago we didn't have that um but some of the planning tools now are very adept to um you know at, at, doing the heavy lift, so to speak. And it depends, it'll depend a little bit on your industry and what specific function you're monitoring. You know, what is your reaction time? How quickly can you change? I mean, if you're developing a new jet engine, you don't really need to have a daily update. Um, whereas if you're selling something with very immediate short-term targets and you can, and you can change channels or make short-term decisions on how you market and how you drive it, then monitoring it more quickly so you have the ability to react in time is obviously then relevant. Yeah, I think it's about leveraging the tools that we have because if it's very light touch from a person manipulation perspective, we have a lot of predictive analytical tools. They do, they have to be trained, but they do predict a lot for us. And so then the actual manual input or person input is very low. It leaves more time for analytics and understanding of what we need to do differently. But I think that level of agility and adaptability is important in today's business. 